Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about the cultural exchange program application process and acceptance, all while creating this look using the brand new Disney designer collection uh, from Colourpop, the Princess palette, as well as like my other makeup and stuff. So stay tuned while I carefully craft the timing of talking about the application as well as doing my whole look. Alright, so my skin is already moisturized, so I'm just gonna go right into using foundation. Uh, lately I've been using MAC Studio Fix SPF 15 and I am the shade NC10, so it's really light and uh, it does oxidize a little bit. Um, yeah, so let's just get right into talking about all of the good stuff. So, usually applications will open um, in September and they're actually still open right now so you should be still able to apply until about November if you still want to um, and they so they stay open for quite a while obviously so a good cover letter and resume are really important um, when I did the animal sciences seminar this summer one of the people who actually had worked in recruiting said that initially it's just a computer that goes over um, all the cover letters and resumes and looks for keywords. So it's really important that you pull words directly from the job descriptions and directly from the CEP application website. Um, because if your resume doesn't have any of those words in it, then it's probably going to be basically just rejected right away. So that's really important. A really catchy cover letter is important. Like I said, go right in, look at the roles that you are really interested in and pull words directly from those roles. I really wanted to do um, anything in entertainment for my first summer. I didn't really know that wasn't possible for me. So I really geared it towards um, my like experience in theater and just like being able to maintain a stage presence and stuff, that was really important. But if you want to be put into food, uh, talk about your experience in food. If you want to be put into attractions, um, just try and talk about like customer service and like having a lot of interpersonal skills because that's really important because you just deal with a lot of people in attractions as well as like problem solving um, and stuff like that. I'm just gonna set some of the makeup um, around my eyes just to make my eyeshadow a little more blendable. Um, so I'm just going in with the uh, Mineral Veil, Bare Mineral Mineral Veil powder. Um, so yeah, make sure you keep your cover letter interesting. Uh, remember that recruiters are going to be like looking and reading so many of them that you want something that's going to be a little bit eye-catching. I put a Walt Disney quote in mine. Um, don't force it if it doesn't flow, but there are a lot of Walt Disney quotes that like work really well as far as cover letters go, so don't be afraid um, to do that. So usually I would do my eyebrows and eyes next just in case I get any fallout or anything um, so I can, you know, put concealer and stuff on top, but I'm just going to finish doing my skin first just so I have a really nice base for um, the Disney designer princess palette, whatever it's called. So lately I've just been using like a really cheap bronzer. I have one of the Fenty um, like matchstick con contour things coming in the mail right now. It should be here by tomorrow, so that's really exciting. Um, but yeah, right now I just use a really cheap bronzer just to kind of bronze me up because I'm so pale. So yeah, so once you have submitted your resume and your cover letter, that's kind of when the waiting will start. So I submitted mine um, last year pretty much like the second day, I think, after applications had opened. Um, and so I waited a really, really long time and I had no idea how long I'd be waiting. Luckily now I have a bit of a better idea, so I'm not going back and checking my dashboard every single five minutes. But last year we heard back mid-November that um, if we got an interview or not. So at that time, um, hopefully it'll be kind of similar this year. And 
it was actually I think November 14th, which is the day that I leave for Disney World uh, to spend Christmas there. Or actually I come back just before Christmas. So that would be exciting if I heard on the same day. Um, but yeah, and so at that time you get to pick the city that you want to interview in. So last year it was Vancouver, Toronto, and Montreal. So I think they used to do one more in the prairies in Edmonton, but they got rid of it. So definitely makes it difficult for people who are coming um, like from the prairies because they have to decide whether they're going to go to Alberta or, or I mean, sorry, ugh, if they're going to be going to BC or um, Toronto. So I think people were kind of like half and half whether or what they did. Um, yeah, okay, so my bronzer is pretty much done. I don't know, the lighting's kind of weird, so I'll blend it out a bit better after. I'm now going in with one of the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. This is in the color Monarch. It's just kind of a nice, like, dusty rose color. And I'm just gonna use the same brush because I forgot the brush in the bathroom and I'm too lazy to go and get it. So I'm just gonna sweep that over the apples of my cheeks. I'm super bumpy like up here. I don't know if you can see because I just got my eyebrows waxed yesterday and I always get like clogged like I guess kind of pores afterwards so it always just looks like I have little zits like around here. That's really annoying but uh, at least my eyebrows are better than they were before. Okay so I'm just gonna sweep that give me a nice little rosy tint. Cool cool cool. I just got this uh, when I ordered the palette. I also got the ColourPop um, Brow Boss Gel. I've also been using one of the MAC Brow Gels. Uh, this one was really, really cheap and it's nice because it has a really um, small little wand and the MAC wands are really big, uh, but you get a lot of product with the MAC and um, this one's okay though. I don't know why I'm like reviewing these things. Nobody cares. Okay, also when you're offered um, an interview, that's also the time that you're gonna pick your interests in your role. So it's your role checklist. So basically they give you a big checklist of a bunch of the roles. Some of them don't even end up being offered, uh, but you basically put whether you have a high interest, moderate interest, low interest, or no interest. And pretty much anyone will tell you um, don't put no interest for anything, even if you absolutely cannot swim, you would never be a lifeguard, just put low interest, they'll ask you about it and you can kind of give more specific reasons. Say you have a deathly allergy to something, so you wouldn't want to work in one of the restaurants. I know some people had to be accommodated for that. Um, I think they're like fairly good at accommodating, so I wouldn't put no interest for anything. Just make it seem like you're pretty much willing to do every job. Um, at our interviews, they were definitely pushing for people to do quick service. They always need a lot of people in quick service, um, so they'll always, like, push that on you. Um, I put low interest for that, I think. I also just mentioned that I have a tattoo right here, and I heard that you can't have sleeves or you can't have anything covering it up, so I basically just told them about that tattoo so that I wouldn't have to do quick service, because I really didn't want to. Okay. My eyebrows are on. I have very thick eyebrows, so I don't have to do a whole lot to them, luckily. Now, for the fun part. Right, here she is. So I've only used this once before, um, but I'm just gonna do like a simple kind of look. I'm just gonna zoom you into my eyes a little bit more. Alright, I'm gonna go in with a ColourPop brush that I just got, um, it's E2, it's just a nice fluffy blending brush. And I'm gonna take the color Chip, and I'm just gonna sweep that all over my lid. So yeah, like I was saying, um, just seem like you're interested in pretty much any role. Um, and in your interview, you'll talk more specifically about roles. Uh, so don't worry too much about that. I'm gonna actually do this on my other eye because I've got like a nasty ass little bump there. So that's like not a good eye to like be modeling. I guess I have to do both eyes anyway. 
clearly I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done this before. So just go easy on me, you know. The internet is scary. Okay, so like I was saying, yeah. So last year the roles that were actually offered um, were attractions, quick service food and beverage, lifeguarding, merchandise, costuming, cedar, custodial, uh, character attendant is only for alumni, and then performers also really wear. It's basically just if they have, they might be trying to fill like one certain role. So this is weird being so zoomed in. Um, okay, next I'm just gonna go in with the color Grumpy. This is really hard to do. Grumpy, which is, how am I trying to, okay. Right here, Grumpy. I'm just gonna do that in my crease. So last year they were trying to f just fill a role for Goofy. So basically that has a very specific height. Um, so yeah, don't get your sight set on character performer because it's very rare that it happens. So I'm just putting this kind of in my crease a little bit. And blending it up towards my brow bone. Okay, this is hard because I'm like trying to do it in the viewfinder and not in my mirror that's over here. So just, but again, bear with me. Um, so I think in the roll checklist it offered like full service food and beverage and um, housekeeping, but those weren't actually offered my year. Like, so when you go to your interview, you go to a presentation first and they'll tell you all the roles that are actually being offered. Um, so then you can kind of like narrow down. So I had put high interest for only character performer and character attendant. And then as soon as I got there, um, I found out I couldn't do character performer because it was goofy height, which is not me. And I couldn't be a character attendant because I was an alumni. So right away I was kind of like, uh, okay, like what am I gonna do? And so I just kind of adapted my role checklist for attractions to be number one because I thought I had the best chance of getting that. And I thought it would like actually be interesting to do. Does this look okay? Let me just get up in my mirror a little bit more. This is looking a little crazy. But you know, that's okay. We're, we're doing this together. You gotta start somewhere. They're a little wonky, but it's fine. Okay, next I'm gonna take my Morphe M139. Another kind of blending brush, but how do I do this? Slightly more tapered? Focus? Hello? Okay. And I'm gonna go in with the color. Let's see, where is it? Every, there's so much glare. What am I doing? I'm gonna go in with the color Abu. And I'm gonna put that just like more right in my crease. Oh, the sun is starting. This light, I'm sorry. The sun is like, look at these shadows. Like this is not cute anymore. I'm just gonna zoom you out. Yeah, what the hell? Okay. And I'm gonna try and get better lighting here. Okay. Yeah, so when you go for the interviews, first there's a presentation that you have to attend. They basically just go over everything. They tell you the dates for the programs. Also, I have those dates for 2019. So make sure you watch until the end of this video and um, I'll let you know when those dates are going to be because I know that's always exciting and you kind of have to plan your life around it as far as school and everything else. So it's kind of nice to know beforehand. Um, and then basically based on your time slot, you either like wait or you will come back in a little while for your actual interview. Oh my god, this sun. This was not planned well. I did this at like the worst time of day. I'm so sorry. This is literally so hard. I don't know how people do this. I'm like trying to find good light and it's so hard. Okay. Of course the sun is like, like, I don't want these shadows. <laughs> Whatever, let's just keep going. It's fine, we're doing great. All right, next I'm gonna go in on my lids with the color Ray. So it's just like a nice light kind of sparkly gold. This, the shimmers in this palette are really nice. Um, I'm not really like a shimmer person, but these are almost kind of like wet. 
and so they go on really nicely. Oof. Yes. Yeah, the way the light hits off these is really nice. Just like a little bit of fallout, as you can see right there. All right, so getting back into it. Um, yeah, so interviews were at the end of January. I think they were January 29th in Vancouver. That's the one I attended. And then I think there were there were two or three dates in Toronto um, at the beginning of February. And then the next, I think, one in Montreal. So basically just obviously go to wherever's closest for you. Um, hmm, it's nice. So when you're in the interview, it's a one-on-one -on -one interview. It's really quick. They have a computer in front of them. So it's kind of nice that you don't have to worry about making eye contact all the time. Like sometimes that's scary if they're like literally just staring at you and asking you about yourself because that's always like, questions about yourself are always really scary, I find, to answer. Okay, next, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Enchanted Rose shade. It's like a really nice um, pinky, metallic shade and I'm just going to put a little bit of that um, in the crease just to blend out this gold. So they'll ask you like about your schooling, about your work experience, um, and then you'll go through the roles. So just kind of try and like tweak your work experience and stuff based on um, what roles you want. So like at that point I had known I had a good shot of getting attraction, so I talked about operating a carousel at work, which I do in my current job. We have a carousel there and you know, you like learn to operate it. So I knew that that kind of experience would be really helpful. So I did hype that up a bit and I didn't really talk about a lot of my uh, food experience in my interview just cause I really didn't want to be put there. So under the eyelid with the shade Triton, which is right here. Again, the brush that I meant to use. Oh wait, no, I'll just grab this one. This is like a, this isn't the right brush that I usually use, but a Kylie Cosmetics like smudger brush. And I'm just gonna put that right under my eye. It's just like a nice kind of burnt orange shade, but it'll kind of tie everything in together. Um, I'm probably gonna do two colors down here actually. So they'll ask you about your tattoos, they'll ask you if you're like receptive to doing a criminal record check, just say yes to everything, be honest about your tattoos, I know a lot of people are really worried about that. You're not gonna not get the job because of your tattoos. Um, I have six? I don't know, I got another one while I was away, so I think I had five during my interview. Surprisingly, I think I was one of the only people, they didn't actually ask me specifically about my tattoos. I only mentioned the one on my wrist because of, like I said, um, because of food and not wanting to do food. But if they specifically ask you about your tattoos, just tell them. Don't bring it up if you don't feel like it's necessary, but they probably will ask you. Um, I'm just gonna take this, uh, what's this called? Poison Apple shade right here. It's like a nice pinky kind of purpley shimmer again, and I'm gonna put a little bit of that under my eye as well. Just focusing it more on the waterline. Did that do anything? Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. So just, uh, you know, if you're getting ready to go onto that keyboard and tell me how much I'm not doing this right, just refrain. You know, take a, take a deep breath, maybe go get a snack or something, because maybe you're just hungry, and instead, instead of yelling at me, just go eat some food. All right, because I want the focus to really be on the eyeshadow, I'm just gonna go pretty light in with a brown um, eyeliner and just kind of smoke it out a little bit. Um, just so the focus can really be on the eyeshadow. Um, and I'm just gonna focus it, I'm just using a NYX or NYX 
one of the retractable, retractable, that's a word, retractable pens, a brown one. Um, oh fuck. God, I'm so bad at this. I didn't mean to put that much on. It's fine, I'll smudge it. Um, yeah, so the interview, my interview was honestly like five minutes. Like, it was almost too short. To the point where I was like, is that enough? Like, did I, did I say enough? Did I do enough? You know, did they really get a sense of like, who I am? Um, you know, when I'm nervous, I get really bad, like verbal diarrhea. And I was really scared of that happening. So just, you know, less is more. If you're one of the people like me who, this is not going well, you guys. That doesn't look very good. Let's just pretend that this part didn't happen and let's just go straight to mascara. And I'm using the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. This stuff is like, it's good, but I have long eyelashes. So it like, I say as if that's like a bad thing. It like really rubs off um, up here, unless I put like a good powder up top, but sometimes I just don't wear anything and just wear this. So after you've done your interview, once again, that's when the waiting will start again. Um, so it took until February 19th to find out that we were accepted or not. Some people got put on a waiting list. Last year was weird. They put out acceptances on President's Day, which is a US holiday. So no one was really expecting anything to happen because um, it's weird for them to like do something on a holiday. Um, but it happened, so yay for us. Um, so most people were accepted on that day. Some people like went on to a waiting list. Some people didn't hear back. Some people were on a waiting list for like a few hours and then taken off and given acceptances. So I feel like they were kind of all over the place last year. Like don't really know what they were doing. So yeah. So now I'm just gonna go in with my highlighter. This is my brand new ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Monster. It's super weird. I thought it was gonna be a powder and then I touched it and it's like wet. It's weird, it's like spongy, but I'm just gonna apply it. I'm just gonna dab it on with my finger and then blend it out with my Beauty Blender. So yeah. Oh my god, there's like no product in this. Do you see that? It's like, that's the bottom. And this is how big the, what? Okay, I gotta be a bit more skimpy on this, clearly. Um, so yeah, it's obviously really exciting when you get accepted. Um, as soon as you do get accepted, that's when you also find out what role you were accepted for and tells you like the pay rate and basically like what's accept expected of you. Um, and so from that point, you have a week to either accept or reject your offer. Um, and when you accept, you also have to pay fees. So you pay some fees for housing um, and just some like initial kind of acceptance fees. I think it was like, it's like a couple hundred. I love highlighting the Cupid's bow. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I need some inner eye highlight. I'm just gonna do this with my finger because I'm lazy. Um, yeah, so that's when you pay your fee. It's like a couple hundred US. Um, and that's when you have officially secured your spot. It's very exciting. I remember getting my acceptance at like waking up to it because it was like seven something my time because they sent it out obviously East Coast time and I'm three hours behind that. So I got up and just cried and called my mom like you should do. So yes. Okay, last but not least, I timed this out so well. I'm going in with, just cause this is the closest thing to grab, Bare Minerals, I got this in like the Sephora rewards thing. It's the color swag. It's just like a nice kind of, as someone described it to me, your lips, but better.
I love me an overlined lip, like, ugh. Yes, give me those big porn star lips. Probably shouldn't say that. It's probably not very kosher. It's probably also not kosher to say kosher if you're not Jewish. Anywho, here I am just being problematic as per usual. Okay, let's zoom you out. Ah! Show you the completed look. Let me get into better lighting. Look at this freaking cat. What is you doing? What is you doing? Hello? Mm. All right, so here is the completed final look. I'd say it turned out pretty well. I'm proud of myself for like barely using a mirror. Um, yeah, I don't know, I like it. So this highlight is really nice. I really like this highlight, it, like throws really pink and it's super sparkly. So like I promised you guys, if you stayed until the end of this video, you were gonna find out the dates for the 2019 summer J1 cultural exchange visa, the thing that I did last summer, you know, that I just talked about in this whole video. Um, so this year there are two separate dates with two beginning dates and two end dates, which is weird. Um, so this year the program is going to be running from May 13th to August 8th or May 20th to August 29th. So unlike last year, there is, are two beginning dates, but there are also two end dates. Uh, so this last year there were just two different start dates, um, but we all had the same end date. So this year it's a little bit different. Um, so you can use that information to basically plan which one you'd prefer. Um, you may or may not get a say in what date. Usually if it's school related, they'll put a little more consideration into it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. Remember to like and subscribe. Follow me along on Instagram. I do a lot more stuff there. It's at Kate in the Kingdom underscore. So follow me along there, subscribe to my channel all that fun stuff and i will see you guys in the next video bye what can i say except you're welcome for the tides the sun the sky hey it's okay it's okay you're welcome